Web design and development has been around since, I guess, 1994, maybe a little bit before, but really it got big, 94, well, 95, 96. I remember when things started to ramp up. When I started freelancing in uh, around that time, 95, 96, I remember I would go into businesses and say, hey, you need a website. And they would say to me, what's a website? Or if they knew about websites, they would say, eh, websites, web, nobody's, who's this web stuff? Nobody goes to the web. The web is unimportant. Even Bill Gates famously thought that the web was going to be some blip, some fad that would fade and it would never go anywhere. So you never know. Anyway, so web design has been around since that time. And there's so many websites out there. Now, what happened when social media started getting prominent, especially Facebook, people started thinking, hmm, do you need your own website anymore because there's a Facebook? And later on, you had other, you know, Twitter, you have Instagram, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what's happening now, and I'm recording this in December 2018. What's happening now is that people are starting to realize that having all your eggs in the social media basket is really a recipe for disaster. And they're starting to realize that having your own web site, having your own web presence is very important. Now, that doesn't mean no social media. It just means having a website and social media, using social media to bring people to your, your hub, your own website. And so the web is still super important today and there are just so many jobs out there for web design and web development. It's not funny how many jobs there are out there. There are so many websites, small businesses all depend on websites and a lot of them though have neglected their sites in the last few years. So you see a lot of sites need lots of updating. Now the updating could be just as simple as a design refresh it could be a social strategy implemented into their sites, a whole bunch of other things and functionalities that they're probably going to be looking to implement. And there's just tons and tons of web design and web development work for small and medium-sized businesses. This is still the infancy of the whole industry. CRUD work, create, read, update, and delete. This is basic web app creation. It's still huge. I was talking to a guy who used to work for me. And he has a company now, he's a CTO, co-founder of a company. He's going to come in soon for an interview. And he, I got him out of school, trained him up, worked for me for several years. And then he went off to start his own startup. And they're doing very well. And uh, we'll get into that story when uh, he comes in. But anyhow, he was talking about that in terms like, it's just so hard to find good web developers. And there's just such a huge demand for it. He gets approached uh, on a regular basis from people uh, small business owners, he knows they're looking for coders just to do some job here and there. And I have other friends who have other businesses that have nothing to do with technology, but they need their website up to date. Uh, you see a lot of WordPress demand. And uh, so people who are willing to learn the fundament foundations of coding, they're willing to uh, jump in to the freelance game, can make boatloads of cash because the demand is just there. That is the big advantage of uh, freelance web design development. It's that it's still open to people who don't have the higher education, who don't have the degree. That's the great thing about it. So instead of having to go to college or university for four or five years to get a degree in computer science or whatever it is related to tech to get out there and get a job, you can go right into freelance web design, freelance web development, and just with online courses. That's how much in demand this stuff is still. And this is not going away anytime soon because what we're seeing now with social media, it's starting to fall. This, Facebook especially is starting to get uh, a bad stink to it. And uh, recently people have seen how social media sites could just shut your account down. You have no recourse, then you're, you're in big trouble. And uh, whether, you, whether you think that these companies should have shut down these sites or these, social, their, these accounts, that's a different issue. But what's happening though is business owners are going, wait a second, if they can shut down these guys, they could also shut us down one day. And no smart business person is going to put all their eggs in one basket and be dependent on 
a social media site for their uh, well-being. They're going to be diversifying like crazy. And the hub of all that, the core of all that, of course, is your own website. So there you go. So freelance web design development is just going to continue, I think, to grow for a number of years. And I've seen statistics showing this that for at least another 10 years, there's going to be growth in the whole web design development game because as more and more people come online, as more and more people start small businesses, they all have to have websites, and these websites have to be maintained. So it's just growing in popularity. And that brings me to my final point. One thing I noticed when I started, one thing I noticed about today, excuse me, is that this acceptance and this desire to get into being a business owner, being an entrepreneur. Now, the easiest way to start that, the quickest way to start that, of course, is freelancing. Whether you become a freelance web designer, freelance web developer, freelance videographer, photographer, whatever. Freelancing is a great way to get into business, to learn the business ropes, if you will, for the first time, because there's very little overhead, you can get in there cheap, and it's quick to get going rather than say setting up a restaurant that's very expensive very time consuming just to get off the ground you know if you're going to get into freelance web design development all you need is a website and your computer and you probably have a computer already you just need to put up a website learn the skills and away you go you start uh, knocking on doors etc 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 so it's it's such a great thing and it's done so well for me in my own career because when I sold my my position, when I sold my position, my very first business that I had started when I was uh, 18, I sold out of that. And fortunately, I had developed some basic but usable web design skills and basic coding skills. And so I was able to take those skills and bring them into the marketplace as a freelancer to get myself going again. Uh, and everything grew up out of that. Having coding skills, having freelancing skills is like having a superpower. It's like having a superpower because it can give you ultimate freedom, financial freedom, and freedom for your time, and freedom of what you do. All right, that's it for today. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.